MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Gerald Payton looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Digging in will be Batting Gerald third. Hayden already the holding baseman. the all time hit streak Gerald. record. He continues to carve Hayden. out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. Solo shot to right center. Number 23 for him thus far as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series and they're still giving him pitches to hit. Next to stand in is Gerald Payton. Off to a fine start in this one Gerald. after launching a homer his first hey time up. And now pitch on the way. Hit hard. Get down, but get that'll down, land down. foul strike one. Hey, any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Right over the top with no that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Pena able to track it down for the third out. Now in the box, Gavin Lux Way to go. as we move the past the halfway point in the this one and begin the bottom of the Gavin. fifth. This is in the air out to left field. On the run is Jimenez, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfield. Next, here is Gerald Hayden. Flew out last baseball. time up. Gerald Hayden. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now one a ball, one ball, but he might have flown open a bit. It's one and one. Your pitch up there. Pulled toward right center field. Pena will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now to the plate. Gerald Hayden. He flew out in his last day. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot, but you have to have one quality at that. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Going back is the right fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Well, they're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 12 to 4 is the final in this game. Seattle get the win on the heels of four home runs. George Kirby notches his third win of the year. Ian Anderson was hit hard to the tune of seven earned.